Check us out. Check us out. Number one. How you like that? Tug Dig likes it a lot. We are number one in the National League West. Three games up on the Rockies and Dodgers. We're in the... We're going to be playing the last of the three-game series against the Rockies. We've won the first two. If we win this one, we will have swept the Rockies, which is pretty good coming... Coming? Because coming into this series, the Rockies were number two in the National League West. I don't know what happened to the Dodgers. For you on a fine Sunday afternoon from Coors Field in Denver. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the San Francisco Giants and the Colorado Rockies. Oh, I hit myself in the knee with the controller. I'm good at let's play, and everybody, I can barely handle it. Tug Dick is like, girls can't handle it. Because they run away. Ah, Brandon Dick Moss is back in number four spot. Why? <laughs> Buster Posey did so good last game. Why is he not in the number four spot? I would understand moving even Tug Dick down in the lineup. Matt Kane, insane. Wasn't he? No, Linsta comes the injured one. I was going to say, wasn't Kane injured, but I would be wrong about that. I bet Tug Dick sometimes runs into the locker room and yells, It's a caning! And then he hits... Matt Kane with a game. <laughs> All right, man. On second, we have a one-run lead. Top of the first, no outs. Watch as a fastball right there for strike one. Bored, Dick. Your dick should never be bored. Playing their best baseball of late as they've dropped four of their last five, and that includes losses in the first two games of this series. So. They just need to have something positive go their way. Salvaging the finale. Thing. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. I like how our guy in second is wearing the cool high socks, too. Even the pitchers. This is the cool high socks club. Oh, and the guy in first. Oh, please carry. Do we dare go for three? No. I was going to, because Tug Dick does have the most triples in the National League, but I didn't think he was going to make it. Either way, though, RBI double. Plus, hopefully, we're going to have rattled the pitcher. Now, this will not rattle the pitcher having Brandon Moss come up to bat, because nobody is scared of Brandon Moss. Brandon Moss, just bat righty so I can steal third, because you're not going to do anything. First pitch hacking here, and He's like, I can strike out. Oh. Brandon Moss is like, oh, somebody's throwing it, swing. I am judging you so hard right now, Brandon Moss. Well, Tug Dick is. Truth is, if we could get that leg kick, there's a small chance we could steal third. Nope, that wasn't it. See, the nice thing is I didn't have to worry about Tug Dick getting a hit there and fucking things up. Which really isn't a nice thing at all. Second, here's the pitch. And now the runner's trying for third. Brandon Moss was trying to get us out. Did you see that? He hit it right where we were going. You failed in your evil plan, Brandon Moss. I could tell. Hitting it right to the third baseman, trying to get Tug Dick out. Wolverine coming to the plate. Still hitting like crap at home. Luckily for us, we're on the road. Interestingly, too, he's got as many... The same amount of home runs and RBIs as at home is on the road. Come on, Wolverine. The pitch. And that's well, wow, that's nice. Next time, hit it the other way. The other thing is, there's a strong chance now. Tug Dick is number one in the National League for stolen bases. In the air, down the left field line and deep. Stay fair. Yes. Good job. Go Wolverine. Nice double. I wish we played in the stadium all the time. This Rocky Mountain High. Nice butt shot. Yeah, that's not a stadium I'd want to have to pitch in. Good, let's ruin that pitcher. 
All right, ready got three we'll runs first in the first inning. Bottom of the first, one out. For both of his club's runs batted in in last night's ball game. Swung on and hit Come on, Chug Dick, deny him. Yes. We certainly don't want to give up a bunch of runs after we got an early lead. Tug Dick one for one with a double. Runners on the corners, two out. Top of the second. Two on, two out here in inning number two. I would kill for a hit right now. Hit hard to the right. Oh, I know that wasn't in the strike zone, but I thought I was gonna be able to get a little more of that. If that would have been fair, we would have brought in a run. And this is lifted. Oh, that's not gonna carry as much as we needed to. Oh, we needed some fan to grab that. It was almost out of bounds. Almost into the stance, I mean. Either way, we still got a three-run lead. I like that, big time. Bottom of the second. Man on first. Pac-Man coming up. Wah, 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 wah. Nobody loves you, dinosaur. He's like, come on, into the dinosaur. I'm really horny. You know, quit presenting to me. It's that sexy here, tail. No, Tug Dick, no! It's like you, when you went to the Natural History Museum and got kicked out. You're like, I'll give that here, dino bone a bone of its own. Screw you, cut off, man. Oh, never mind. All right, top of the four, three-run lead. Tug Dick, one for two with a double and uh, an RBI. Kind of surprised we haven't chased their pitcher with the way we rocked him early on. I guess he eventually settled down. I say that. <laughs> he was a mile outside of the strike zone right there. And he watches one miss outside. Two and zero now. It's all right. Those weren't Tug Dick's pitches. Maybe we'll get a fastball right down the middle now. Probably going to finish out of the zone, so that's a good job just to lay off. All right, that was definitely not the fastball I was looking for. Throwing the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Yeah, let's take that three-run lead in the bottom of the fourth. Come on, I want to sweep these guys so bad. I don't know who the next series is against. Oh, no. That's gone. No, they're going to challenge that. That was definitely... F How you rule that foul? I want it to be foul, but you can see where it landed. It landed like 10 feet to the right of the foul pole. Who was the drunk-ass ump that said it was foul? How do you need to replay that? These guys are blind. Look, that was... <laughs> you could see where it landed right there. That wasn't even close. Oh, we'd like to rule that we are drunk and blind. We're a bunch of legally blind people who beat up the umps. Suck it. Uh-oh. Colorado scored two runs. We're still up, though. Three to two. Two outs, top of the seventh. New pitcher on the mound. Oh man, this guy's got a good slider. That's not good. Now a swing and a hard hit ground. Home run. Uh, Mark it. Woo. Slider, and that's in there. That was his good slider. I was all waiting on that because I thought I was gonna have some wicked movement. Maybe he just put in a bad place for movement. Oh, should have let that go. Embarrassing for the Dickmeister. All right, bottom of the ninth. No outs. We got a 4-2 to two lead. All we need is three outs, and we will have swept these bastards. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps. 
Oh, you got it, Digmeister. How you like that, Colorado ladies? Get Rocky Monkey Mount. Rocky Monkey? I love Rocky, Rocky Monkey High. <laughs> Colorado. I don't think that's what John Denver was singing about. A monkey in the Colorado Rockies. <laughs> All right. Tug Dick, you talking crazy. The thin air there has gotten up to your head. All right, we win! We swept the Rockies! How about that, Bochi? We've won five in a row? Man, we've really been going on cool winning streaks. Yeah, you the man, Wolverine. We're building ourselves a bit of a lead in the West. I'm getting excited about that. Sorry, Freddie Mercury. You guys just weren't the champions today. That guy Perkins? I bet Tug Dick calls him Jerkins. He's like, because he's always jerking off! <laughs> and everybody else on the team is like, that's not funny, Tug Dick. Or it wasn't funny after the millionth time you said it. Crawford! Wolverine player of the game, two hits. Man, he's doing well lately. Matt Kane with the win. Come on, you gotta interview Wolverine. Wait, they're gonna... Uh, no, Matt Kane, I guess, is gonna be interviewed. Yeah, I figured I'd throw it where the Kuna hit it. I learned that from the TV. I also learned that bass fishing's fun. I like ass fishing, too. <laughs> Alright, let's play another game. <laughs> Don't want to run into... Busy hands Matt Kane there at a bar. Tug Dick one for four. The important thing is he had a double, an RBI, a run. I say that, but there's one more important thing. We got another W with another win. Check us out. Three and a half games up on the Dodgers. Remember when we were like last place? My, how times have changed. Tim Lincecum. It's still going to be out for at least a week and a half. So we're going to start a three-game series against the Braves. The Braves are playing 500 baseball right now. So hopefully we can win some more. Is this who, who is hot in the league? Apparently our boy Fistmeister is pretty hot with a 260 ERA. 22 strikeouts. Oh, I should have look looked at the... Uh, Stolen bases thing to see if Tugger Dick is number one right now. From downtown Atlanta, we welcome you to baseball from Turner Field. A Memorial Day get together for you here at the ballpark between the West leading San Francisco Giants and the Atlanta Braves. We have our giant Coke bottle in left field. They have their giant Coke bottle in left field. It makes more sense for Atlanta to have it. I under honestly don't understand why. San Francisco has one. Oh yeah, Buster Posey is hitting number four. I still don't know why Tug Dick is still in the number three spot, but whatever. If you're winning, I guess you don't change it, right? Casimir, three and five. Hopefully we can get him a win. Mike Miner for the Braves with a 157 ERA, doing an amazing job apparently. Yep, he got the one and two batter out. Tug Dick definitely leads the Giants with stolen bases. Now here's the pitch. In there, strike one. Ooh, that was close. Braves as they take the field here tonight. They've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out, and in fact dropping six of their last seven. Ooh, can we get that through the gap? Come on, I'll run it, I'll run it, Tug Dick. Oh, Screw you, second baseman! I thought Tug Dick could outrun that. That's a solid hit. I thought for sure. Second baseman does a great job getting down on it. And then uh, getting it over the first. Wow, that's disappointing. Andrelton Simmons. Will stand in now, trying to duplicate his performance from yesterday when he finished four for five. Tug Dick is still mad. He's pissed off and fuming over in left field. And I'm not saying farting fuming. Oh no. Contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. And that is off the wall. 
And he is in there safely with their first hit so far, a one-out double. Well, that's not the way we want to start. Yeah, Tug Dick could not get to it in time. Just like a minute, not a minute, just like a second late. A minute late would have been a lot longer. Uh, Lander got a run, unfortunately. Top of the fourth, no outs. We need to get a hit at some point here. All right, here goes nothing. Oh! Jeez, oh! <laughs> he hit that thing hard, too. That was a power swing. Good contact. But where the third baseman could get it. Man, on first two outs, talk about frustrating. We do have a three-run lead, though. Our team has done pretty good at opening up some whoop-ass of late. But the runner's back easily. So who's Tug Dick going to hit it to now? The first baseman or the shortstop? Because right now it's all infield dudes Comes robbing him. In the air to right center. No. Oh, and he misses it. Yes! Go to the, you better go home, you son of a bitch. Around third and being waved on home. And they're not yes! Get him as he's in there to That's got to be an error, I would think. But either way, we're on third and we got to run. It's because he was scared of the dick ball. Try letting a guy score from first on an air. And that's an absolute gift of a Your run. problem there was ever trying to catch Tug Dick's balls. Mm-mm. Look how he gets down on the ground. You weren't in the way, bro. You're just embarrassed that you fucked up. It's all right. We've been there. It happens. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers. Come on, Buster Posey. Stepping in now, Buster Posey, as he will take strike one on the fast. Definitely the man we want at the plate right now. Got to say, for a strikeout pitcher, not too many strikeouts here so far, and he's in a big need of one right here. You know, if you're the pitcher there though, and that error happened, you gotta be pissed. You gotta be like, he should have been dead to rights. We should have been out of this inning. Instead, we gave up a run. A we might give up another. To right field. Drop, drop, drop. Oh. Oh, well. the important thing is we got to run on, it's not technically a hit, but Tug Dick almost getting a hit. Tug Dick pointing into play, that's the important thing. That is one thing for Tug Dick, his average has really been crappy of late, but he's still getting RBIs, he's still putting ball in the balls into play to get people home, he's still contributing. Man on first, a new pitcher on the mound. Now the pitch. And this is oh, I was trying to hit the pitcher, but I missed and hit into a double play. It turned from violent rage to violent sadness. Wow, that is a very quick turn up the middle there. This is not a guy that you get a double up all that often, but you see the good feed and then the strong return. Well, we have gotten all the infielders now, but the first baseman, right? We've hit it to second base, shortstop, and third. Looking for his first hit of the ball game. Freddie Freeman trying to do something. Man, I'm first bottom of the eighth, two outs. Tug Dick, I think after the game, is going to write a letter. Oh, no. To the train engines in left field at the San Francisco AT&T Park. Man, two-run home run. Damn it. Braves, not cool, y'all. Not cool. Uh, this is a classic example of losing your composure after a bad call. Now, he's still you can see Tug Dick run as fast as he can, but there's no way he's going to get to that. He's got to be at least 20 feet tall, and he still might not get it. Tug Dick over for four. Top of the ninth, two outs. We still have a two-run lead. Time to hit it to the first baseman. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. If he would have swung at that, you would have never heard the end of it. Come on, I gotta hit it to the first baseman. We gotta get everyone in the infield involved. Looked like a slider, perhaps, but it missed badly, and it's two and zero. 
two tough sliders there back to back, and he couldn't get him to bite on either. Now he might have to change tack here down 2 and 0. Come on, give us a fastball up and in the zone. That's what we're going to look for. Probably going to swing at anything, but. And this one's Ooh. chopped foul right at home plate. That's not what I wanted! Here's the pitch. Chopper foul. Oh, that was out too? Now I feel stupid. I thought that was going to be in the zone. A whiff. Oh well. Let's get this game over. We just need three outs and we win this thing. And we win this thing. Hell yeah. We have won like six games straight or something. Tug to go for five. Not so grand. But he did what he needed to to contribute. And we got another win. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you all next time. From your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he definitely turned in the standout performance in this one. He finishes with an even 10 strikeouts, and he was instrumental in leading his guys to the victory. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskirgin. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to the shownation.com. The Giants are victorious here, 5-3. to three. Good night from Atlanta. For Atlanta.